Andrew Brown and Liz Mandville Greason for your blues break this morning. When I was on vacation over spring break, I got an Amber Alert on my phone, which was terrible. Horrible emotional inconvenience to me when I'm trying to vacation. If you don't know what an Amber Alert is, two things. Number one, concerning. Please get out more, just not too far. You're right, that was in bad taste. Number two, it's an emergency message that authorities can send to the public to ask for their help in the recovery of a missing or abducted child. If a child is abducted near you, Amber Alert will send a push notification to your phone. If you have a smartphone, I'm assuming you do. Uh, They broadcast on radio stations, internet radio, satellite radio, television stations, text messages, cable TV. They also often immediately broadcast via email. Um, And, and I didn't know this, they're often um, sent directly to electronic traffic condition signs and commercial electronic billboards. You know, the billboards that are just like a big screen and the traffic condition signs are those ones on the LED tickers on very busy highways that say something like, uh, don't drink and drive, drink and thrive. And you're like, okay, I get it, but what do you mean by that also? Or like during Christmas time, they try to theme it. You know, it's like, jingle bells, jingle bells, drive drunk and get a DUI. You're like, you didn't even try. You didn't try on that. At least put some effort for, I'm going to drink and drive. I'm drinking and driving just to spite you, sign writer. Anyway, um, in the Amber Alert in question, I received over the break. I was in Florida, and the Amber Alert had the town, the county where the abduction happened. Said it was a 2002 red F-150. Gave a physical description of the child in question, a physical description of the abductor. And look, of course a child's abduction is awful, but this technology is insane. You know, you have you have every bit of information you could possibly need to help find this kid. It's awesome. And it got me thinking, how on earth did we find abducted children before Amber Alert? Oh, that's right. Milk cartons. Remember that time when the United States only method of alerting the public about abducted children was to put a black and white photo of them on milk cartons? The beverage that, by the way, only other abductable children drink. Not one capable in mind and body of recovering an abducted child would ever drink from a milk carton. Let's count off all the places you can purchase a milk carton. Elementary school cafeterias and... What's that? Nowhere else, you say? Who thought this was an applicable location for missing child ads? I was in elementary school when this was a thing, and I remember kids being scared of this. We were in the third grade. You think we can play hand in recovering this abducted child? We're eight years old. I didn't even play Pokemon yet because I couldn't figure that out. It's like they expected us to try extra hard because we had a personal connection to the missing kid or something. Like Riverdale Elementary has a ring of eight-year-old private investigators at lunch trying to Sherlock Holmes these disappearances. L.A. Noir style, you know. Some toddler saying, looks like Jimmy's on the carton this week. Drag of cigarette. This city. Point being, abducted children, bad. Technology, good. And the two are more correlated than you might think. This technology is actually saving children. Since 1997, the year that Amber Alert began, reports of missing children are down 40% in about 20 years. 40% fewer kidnappings, and that's nothing to scoff at. Right? So what's the moral of the story? Well, iPhones receive Amber Alerts. Amber Alerts, beating child abductors, child abductors, pedophiles, therefore, iPhones fighting pedophilia. Thank you so much. Tune into The Juke, the show that airs every Sunday right here on WMSV from 6 p.m. to midnight that plays blues music. Blues that reminds you what a hero Steve Jobs was. Oh, the way he denied paternity of his daughter for over a decade. Let's make that an emoji, eh, Apple?
Um, I've got Vampire Weekend up next. <clears throat> it's Harmony Hall. Hey, I'm Brock St. Clair. This is Cooking with Brock. Thanks so much for being here. Right here and only here. 911. I did the thing where I had pause again. Thanks so much for watching. Do leave a like if you enjoyed. Um, I'll see you, Brighton. I always say I want to do my outro. I will see you tomorrow or sometime later this week or next week soon, is my point.